Gymnastics routines have become very formulaic, and even predictable. Most gymnasts perform the same range of skills, and the code of points doesn't exactly promote diversity and originality. Whether it doesn't fit properly in the composition, the actual reward is pretty much non-existent, or the likelihood of large deductions is high, the reasons for the lack of variety are diverse. In this video, we'll take a look at 6 balance beam skills that are not present in a single elite routine in 2021. The Teza 1 Submitted by French gymnast Elvire Teza at the 1997 World Championships, this very intricate skill consists of a flick flack from side position with a full twist to hip circle backward. It's rated E in the 2017-2021 to Code of Points. Hip circles on beam used to be quite popular in the 90s and early 2000s, but since the new scoring format was introduced in 2006, this type of skill went out of style. Nevertheless, the Teza 1 still looks very impressive and breathtaking, as well as a bit painful. The Teza 2 Commonly known as a Yang Bow from side stand, the Teza 2 consists of a jump to cross over split with body arched and head dropped backward. Also submitted by Elvira Teza in 1997, it's currently rated E. This element is technically very challenging. Its requirements include head release, over split, front leg at horizontal, and body arc. Only the most flexible gymnasts will manage to perform this element. The fact that it's performed from side stand and gymnasts lose sight of the beam make it one of the most difficult jumps on the balance beam. The Whirly Valued at E, this acrobatic skill consists of a jump backward with half twist to handspring forward to land on two feet. The Whirly bears the name of American gymnast Shayla Whirly, who submitted it at the 2007 World Championships. It's a very original and unique skill, and as of April 2021, it has only been performed by its creator. The upgrade from D to E in 2017 did not encourage more gymnasts to attempt it, and we most likely won't see it in a near future. Double Front Dismount This dismount consists of a double salto forward in a tucked position, and it's currently rated F. The nature of the skill favors the really explosive and dynamic gymnasts, it is performed without a hand-supported element. The gymnast runs toward the edge of the beam and immediately begins the forward rotation. Many fans believe the double front should be valued one-tenth higher, matching the double Arabian, also known as the Patterson. On floor, both skills have the same E rating, but on beam, one is valued higher than the other. The current F rating might discourage gymnasts from attempting such a powerful dismount. The Lili the Lee spin consists of a one and a quarter turn on back and kip position, with the hip leg angle closed. It was upgraded from C to D in 2017, but it still remains one of the rarest turns in gymnastics. The spin was created by Chinese gymnast Li Li, who debuted it back in 1990. The actual skill might not be very appealing to most gymnasts, but it sure adds a nice touch of distinctiveness to a routine. The Dunn Mount Created by Australian gymnast Jackie Dunn in 1999, this mount consists of a round-off at the end of the beam, followed by a flick flack with half-turn to walk over forward. In order to promote more diversity, plenty of beam mounts were upgraded in 2017, including this one. Although the Dunn is valued at F at the moment, not many gymnasts have gravitated towards it. 2016 Olympic champion San Wevers performed it in 2017, but she soon took it out of her routine due to inconsistency. Nevertheless, it's one of the coolest, most distinctive, and beautiful mounts in the code. What is your favorite skill off this list?